And when Michael blew into our area as a tropical storm, it may have literally let the dogs out. Virginia Beach Animal Control has seen an influx of dogs. Head of your side, Stephanie Harris, went out there today. And Steph, we didn't see that much damage or flooding here, so how might the storm be to blame in this case? Well, actually, it would be the wind. Animal Control says they've seen it before. A fence gets knocked over, a gate gets blown open, and then the dogs head for greener grass, actually. Virginia Beach Animal Control has taken in nearly twice as many dogs compared to this same week last year, 59 in all, and 39 of them were picked up as strays after the storm. Lost and alone. At least these two have each other. These pugs were found wandering the streets in Green Run on Friday after Tropical Storm Michael blew through. Whenever the wind picks up, fences blow down, gates get blown open, doors that don't maybe necessarily secure well get blown open, and animals are very curious creatures. This American Bulldog was found on Laskin Road Saturday, and this mixed breed in the Kempsville area with no collar or microchip. And so tomorrow that animal, if it hasn't been reclaimed and it was picked up on Thursday, then that animal does become property of animal control. They hold strays for five days by law, 10 if the dog has a collar or microchip. Then shelter workers decide if they'll put the pet up for adoption there at another agency or send it to foster care. So if your pet is missing, come soon. Come now and uh, look for your pet as soon as you know your pet's missing. You can also look on Animal Control's Facebook page. They post pictures of lost pets. Meantime, take their advice and not only microchip your furry friends, but don't forget to update the information if you move. We shoot for happy reunions. We, it is always a pleasure to see an owner come and be reunited with their pet and to see their pet so excited to see them. Now every city has an animal control shelter, so if your pet is missing, check with your city's shelter. And if you live on the border of two cities, you're probably going to want to check with them both. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.